All right, all right, let's get them started. Those of us that indulge these were completely natural bonus interests of the pleasure of metal masturbation and even the world. We do so because change of impression is among us. Good morning, my children of the sun. Welcome to the Open Eye on WHGE 95.3 FM. I'm your host and third eye optometrist, Patrice Gibbs, here to get us started. Yes, indeed. I will be joined soon by my partner in consciousness, Nosa Roma. And look, I know you can't wait until Saturday, 11 a.m., to turn on your radio, to get on Facebook, to get on social media, and hear your third eye optometrist on the open eye. But here at WHGE 95.3 FM, okay, it's more than just your third eye optometrist. We got a whole state of programming for you. Following the open eye with your third eye optometrist is back to greatness with timeless time. That's followed by Make Some Intelligent Noise by Rochelle Wilson. And on the second and fourth Saturdays, we have Voices of the Delaware Africa Coalition. And that's with Dr. Kalishi Lawrence. His co-host is Kevin Coleman. And we have the Wilmington Renaissance with, Jan with Janice King. That's at four. And of course, my man, I call him Dr. Alan Lawrence. Reviewing the week. Oh, he's going to have some stuff for you. Oh, he's going to have something for you today. Believe that. And of course, at six, our illustrious leader, Mr. Harmon Carey, with history, facts, and reflections. Speaking of history, you know, I always get it started with some history. So, and why? Okay. Oh, shoot, what is that? Okay. Oh. Why do I start with history? Because if you don't know where you've been, look, those that control history control the future. Those that control the present, propaganda, control what we will learn, okay? And as you well know, what's going on in America right now is the right wing is trying their damnedest, the Republicans, the conservatives, whatever they want to call themselves these days, the party of white supremacy, just keeping it real with you, okay? They are trying their damnedest to see to it that people do not learn the true history of America or blacks in America. Actually, this is nothing new. This is nothing new, okay? Uh, for instance, how many of you actually don't believe Egypt is in Africa and always was? Egypt was founded by Black Africans. Those two terms should not be exclusive of each other. When I say African, you should automatically know that I'm talking about a Black man or a Black woman or Black people. But we got some idiots out here, black people right here in America, that have declared that they are not Africans. You know, lost your damn mind. That white supremacy indoctrination, so then got so deep up in your ass that you want to deny our ancestors. Jeez Louise, how dare you? Listen, did you know when the armies of Axum? arrived from Abyssinia 
in the fourth century. This all happened, happened in Africa, in case you didn't know. Hey, hey, what's up, Vaughn? When the armies of Axum arrived from Abyssinia in the fourth century, AD or, C, or Common Era, CE, the conquered Moreau, they found it was completely abandoned. This abandonment coincides with the withdrawal of Roman military forces from Achuan. Moreau's residents had no friends in the area anymore. They went to West Africa, according to ling linguistic and archaeological evidence. That's significant. You need to understand that. Where is Moreau? Moreau, in case you didn't know, is in Egypt. It's a city in Kenneth, what was later called Egypt. According to linguistic and archaeological evidence, they went to West Africa. They spread across sub-Saharan Africa. Some are thought to have settled in Yoruba land. Now, why is that significant? Let me ask you this. Why do Black people in America, African Americans, have an affinity and attraction to things Kemetic or Egyptian? Listen, some went north while the rest went west and south. Some returned later. But many started something new in their new location. We must stop treating historical evidence irrationally. During wars and invasions, we must put ourselves in the shoes of these people and consider how we would react if this happened to us. Most of the answers are there. They don't want Africans to know these stories. They always tell us a fragmented history with large gaps, as if people just appeared in certain areas. Humans travel, migrate, and invade. Locations do not. As a result, a people is a living, moving entity. No matter how lovely it appears, locations are not. A living, moving entity. So when those Africans abandoned Moreau and left Kennet and went west, they went to places like Ghana, Songhai. Yes, Yoruba land. And you check our DNA and where do we come from? You understand what I'm getting at here? You follow the migrations. If you follow the migrations, you'll find that we are the ancient Egyptians. It's up to us to, to, to look after our history. Chancellor Williams, Dr. Chancellor Williams, the author of Destruction of Black Civilization, teaches us, Africans and persons of African descent must assume the primary responsibility and leadership in historical research. If we are to continue to lead practically all important historical research and writing concerning the Black race to the white man, then we must be prepared to accept uncomplainingly the white man's point of view. I do not accept that. That's why I tell us about our history. So you know some things that this whitewashed history is not going to give you. For instance, did you know that Ethiopian soldiers use lions, bees, wasps, and elephants in wars against colonizers? Yeah. One of the reasons that Ethiopia was never colonized, they trained these creatures to fight their enemies. Mm -hmm. You know, speaking of, I don't know who this is, speaking of um, elephants, there's a story that's been going around the internet. Get a little lighthearted here. I'm, I'm not sure if this is lighthearted or not. <clears throat> but there's a story that's been going around social media about this woman who helped poachers kidnap an elephant's children. I don't know what you call a baby elephant, 
They eat yellow fence, I guess. But at any rate, this woman helped poachers kidnap this elephant's baby. Now, the elephant didn't find her for a few years and what happened. But when she did find her, she said, oh, over by the water hole, there go that hussy that kidnapped my children and stomped her out. And when I say she stomped her out, she killed her. Yeah. Yeah, she killed her. A short while later, they had the funeral. The elephant came from two hundred miles away, snatched her out the coffin, and stomped her out, stomped her dead body into disintegration, stomped her out again. And then, coming from 200 miles, and then went to her house and stomped her house out. And even stomped her goat out. Understand that these animals are not what you think they are, especially not elephant. Hey, hey, Chad. WHGE 95.3 FL. Oh, where we at? Get my disclaimer in here. Right, open eye. Views and opinions expressed on open eye are those of the host, guests, and contributors. They do not reflect the policy or position. Whitewashing the history as hard as they can tell. They do not, you know, and you know what? Some people say it's fear. Yeah, that's part of it. Because they're afraid that if black children learn their history and how brutal and evil American history has been to black for black people. that we're going to avenge our ancestors. Sometimes I think we, I wish we thought like that, but we actually don't. Even right after slavery, they were concerned with what free Blacks would do. All free Blacks wanted was to be left alone. Let us get some land, education, We'll take care of that. We'll educate our own. We'll take care of our economy and our own community. Just leave us alone. But they couldn't do that. Hey. Okay. Oh, we still participated in their wars. Took part in their economy. Black people are some of the most patriotic Americans in the country, in the history of the country. And what do we get in return? Well, let's take this for example, Maceo Snipes. On July 18, 1946, Maceo Snipes, a black veteran, was shot to death after voting in the Georgia primary. July 18, 1946, a white mob shot a 37-year-old black veteran named Maceo Snipes at his home in Butler, Georgia. A day earlier, Mr. Snipes had exercised his constitutional right to vote in the Georgia Democratic primary, becoming the only black man to vote in the election in Taylor County. 
For this, he was targeted and lynched. Mr. Snipes had served in the U.S. Army for two and a half years during World War II. And after receiving an honorable discharge, had returned home to Taylor County, Georgia, to work as a sharecropper with his mother. Mr. Snipes' family later recalled that he had received threats from the Ku Klux Klan in the days leading up to the election. But he still bravely went to vote in the gubernatorial primary on July 17, 1946. Just two years before the U.S. Supreme Court's decision in Smith versus Albright had rooted all constitutional for political parties to hold all white primaries, in which only white voters were permitted to participate in choosing the party's candidate. This established that Mr. Snipes and other black people were legally entitled to vote in the primary. But many white Georgians resented the ruling, including candidate Eugene Talmadge, who campaigned on a promise to restore white primaries to the state. A staunch white supremacist, Mr. Talmadge, had been previously elected governor of Georgia on three occasions with a segregationist platform and the open support of white terrorist groups, including the Ku Klux Klan. The South loves the Negro in his place, Mr. Talmadge has said in a 1942 campaign speech, but his place is at the back door. And that's still the feeling amongst many of these white supremacists, even today. That's still the feeling. You, you know, it's interesting that we got a lot of uh, so-called activists, so-called leading voices, who are foolishly telling Black people not to vote. And you know, I mean, you're wasting your time. You voted for the Democrats. They didn't do a damn thing for you. It's more than just about who sits in the White House, especially on the local level. Because you have to understand what white supremacy's plan is. For one thing, if they thought it was a, 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 a waste of time for black people to vote, they wouldn't be doing everything they can to keep you from voting. Oh, some black people said, well, you know, at least Trump was outright racist. I'd rather have him, you know, straight up and no, Trump was a con man, is a con man, a crime lord, and a whole bunch of other things. And the last thing you want is someone like that in the White House. Now, I tell you something that's real crazy here. Okay. Actually, America is lucky because, of course, Trump tried to overthrow the, uh, uh, the government. He tried to overthrow the democracy. But it just so happens that in spite of his shenanigans, Trump is not really a very clever man. He's not actually very smart. I posted on Facebook a couple of weeks ago, stop equating financial status with intellect or intellectual ability. Because most of those rich white supremacists inherit their money from gangsters. They had nothing to do with the wealth in their pocket or in their family. They inherited that wealth from gangsters, from crooks, from corrupt white supremacists. That's where they got the money from. Trump being a prime example of that. He is at least third or fourth generation crook and white supremacist in his family. You know that his grandfather was so racist in, what was it, the 1920s or whatever it was. He was so racist that racist white people locked his ass up and said, wait a minute, that's too damn racist. We got to back you up. Anytime white supremacists lock you up for being too damn racist, 
You are an evil son of a bitch. Now back to what I was saying about uh, why we should vote. Let me tell you what's going on. All right. First of all, always remember this. When white America catches a cold, black America gets the most. At the right wing, white supremacists get control. They have already declared they're going to have a dictatorship. That's all. That's their plan. And what they plan to do is gerrymander local districts, gerrymander local districts, okay, and get control of local legislature, and that way. They can control the electors. Now, if DeSantis gets in, they're going to make him a dictator, no doubt. And Trump doesn't go to jail if these fools in the Democratic Party don't step up and make sure Trump goes to jail. And these right wing legislatures get control in all the local communities and what have you. They're going to see to it that Trump is the dictator that sits in the White House. He'll never have to deal with voters again. He can get up and say any damn thing he wants. Remember that. This is open eye. WHGE 95.3. All right, all right. Join on the air by my. Partner in consciousness, those aroma. What's up, brother? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's good, homie? All right, all right. Hello, world. What's happening? Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'll do some stuff. I'll make it today. Get a little feedback there. Get a little bounce off the. Uh, 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 yeah, it's all good. Yeah. No, I don't want that. But at any rate, how you doing, those? I'm good, bro. I'm good, good, good. All right, all right. And of course, uh, oh, this is something else I gotta get. Now, <clears throat> rent is high all over the country. In California, a one bedroom is averaging something like five thousand dollars a month for a decent one bed. Can you believe that? Five thousand. Jeez, please. You know that's just that's just nuts. Now on top of that, on top of that, they're criminalizing homelessness. So because you can't afford their shenanigans. They're going to criminalize you for not look. Every day in America, people experiencing homelessness are threatened by law enforcement taking it, <coughs> excuse me, and even arrested for living in public spaces when they have no other alternative. Millions of individuals, families, and you experience homelessness each year, and millions more lack access to decent, stable housing they can afford. Rather than providing adequate housing options, too many communities criminalize homelessness by making it illegal for people to sit, sleep, and even eat in public places. Despite the absence of adequate alternatives, these laws and policies violate constitutional, civil, and human rights, traumatize homeless individuals, and negatively impact their physical and mental health and create a rest record, fine, and fees that stand in the way of homeless people securing jobs or housing. This is how nuts this thing is. Okay? Mm -hmm. They give you fines and charges and what have you. Now you're a criminal. From not having nowhere to go. From not having nowhere to go. And what would make it super bad, 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 mm -hmm. right? They are they veterans? Oh yeah. Oh, and the yeah. most of them were veterans. They yeah. went and fought for their country, and they went and did, 
you know, put their time in to think they're going to come home with benefits and uh, uh, a GI Bill plan to get them a home and mm -hmm. all this stuff. And then the first thing they do when they get home is they treat it crazy. Right. You know, don't, yeah. they, ain't, they ain't really respect it, mm -hmm. you know. And then they just, that little bit of money they get don't really help them with, you know, housing. No. You know, so no. that's where you come in trying right. to. You know, it, right. it's it's crazy how the, that uh, slave badge, that mm -hmm. that that slave patrol sheriff badge, mm -hmm. is still in effect right oh, yeah. now. I mean, yeah. to this day, right. like we speak, yes. and the homeless people are really the slaves that are being locked up right. and being sold mm -hmm. for their labor. Yes. Exactly, and that's that's just that's crazy. That's that's you know, that, yeah. Is this the structure of the United States? Yes, still, yes, still, <laughs> still, because just like most of Roman wow. said, see, that's the plan. Deep game, pay attention to detail. It's they got to this day. Back. Huh? You said they got a thousand year plan. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they got see, it's what we have to understand is white supremacy has always had a plan for black people. They plan to enslave us. If they can't enslave us, they want to at least exploit us. Okay, let me start from that. They want to exploit us. Okay. If they can't ex exploit us, they want to enslave us. Right. If they can't enslave us, they're chosen. Because that if order. we're not, yeah. <laughs> In yeah. that order. In that order. All the time. You know, yep. That's crazy. Yep. And just like I said, you know, what a setup this is. The criminalized force you into homelessness and then criminalize you for being homeless. Now you got a record and you can't get a job because you got a record. And you mess out the main thing that, that they say to them. Mm. Come join us and be all you can be. Be all you can be. You're going to be all you can be. Yeah. 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 Yo, you know? I mean, yo. you know? Drive you crazy. Messy. Ain't boy. That's messy. Drive you yes. crazy. I know a veteran that had a home. Uh -huh. Okay. But he was so messed up mentally by what happened to him in the military. Right. That that kind of structure was not somewhere he could survive. So he gave up his home and went to Tent City out in LA. Wow. Because he that was the the structure and the environment. I mean, he was so good. used to being out in the woods and out in the field right. fighting, and he still was. It's, well, that the mindset. main thing that they say when you go into service and mm -hmm. you're learning to be this tactical person mm -hmm. and learning how to survive, they, when you learn how to actually cut it on, cut your self defense on, and it's hard to cut it off. Yes. And then they come, they already in war mode. And then when they got to get back to America and you know, that mm -hmm. lady or that man at McDonald give them a problem, they still in war wars. They ready to shoot you and get rid of you and do, do whatever it is because you're in their way. That's what so, it's So it's hard to, to, to cut that switch off. Mm -hmm. And then they get here and they don't have the proper people to talk to and they don't right. have the places to go to. Mm -hmm. Like your facility, where, right. you know, yo, we can come, we'll help you out, we'll mm -hmm. get you the doctors and stuff you need right. to make it better for you. Get you back on your feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's America is yeah. garbage for that. Yes, it is. And see, what you gotta understand, look, okay, what it what is what it's about. The workers around the world lost three point seven trillion dollars in the pandemic. Billionaires around the world gained gain 3.9 trillion in the pandemic. It is the biggest one-year wealth transfer in history. Yet somehow, barely anyone is actually talking about it. That's right. And Trump said, I made all my money in the recession. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you know, I so made right my money another recession. <laughs> Right. That's the way they think. They don't right. think like that. If yeah. I can buy your property now mm -hmm. for less, way less, mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. You think I'm right? Yeah. See, the thing is this. It's about capitalism. Understand this. And capitalism without the social safety net. Because they are forcing women to have babies. 
okay, they are forcing the homeless into prison. And what does the 13th Amendment say? Slavery is abolished except for those that are duly convicted of a crime. They can be used as slave labor. See, the yes. corporations want workers. That's what they want. They want workers to keep the money flowing up to their coffers. What we have to understand, especially we as black people, is we got to F up the money. F up the economy. I'll bet you then they'll be coming around talking about, okay, wait a minute, what y'all want? Okay, because nothing is more important than them than the bottom line. Okay. Okay. They're a capital gain. Okay. They're capital gain. Okay. No, that's messy, man. Yeah. Yes. Messy, yes. messy. Absolutely messy. Absolutely messy. And, you know, when we do step up mm -hmm. and when we do become that uh, financial mogul black person, in in the community or in in the world, right? Mm -hmm. There go. I don't think that Emory should have that much money. Yeah. He mm -hmm. ain't. He ain't. He should. He shouldn't even. He got more than me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all kind of things that they say mm -hmm. to like, basically burn down your mm -hmm. town. That's right. You know, like they did Tulsa. Tulsa. That's right. You know, That's that, right. They, that and just started. to prove your point. <laughs> Just to prove your point, one of the veterans that we brought into our program, right, that we recognize had the skills and talent to work with us in our program. Okay, you know his counselor told me at the in from the Department of Correction, he was severely overpaid. Wow. Because she wanted him to get a job at one of these car washers or supermarkets or whatever that would keep him down. Right. That would keep him economically distressed. Right. And when we put him in a position where he was not going to be economically distressed, where he was properly paid for his skill and talent, they had a problem with it and told me personally that he was severely overpaid. Now, now, that's because he was making more money than they, she was. Yeah. And, and he was know, making enough money to survive. To survive. To the water there, yeah. You know, to pay all his bills and still have money to get for food. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the, for it to be structured mm -hmm. to keep a certain individuals in the red. Mm -hmm. uh, I, there's no way I can support the uh, 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 organization like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so there's no way you can support Most America, the United States of America. WHGE 95.3 FM, Nosa Roma and Patrice, educating our community to open up. Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm here now. Yo, Vaughn, Sherry, and yo, Mike, what's good? Hey, yo, Island Dev, what's good? Where you been? Oh, yo, I'm just gonna say, y'all, what's up? What's up, though? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Oh, we can get the argument down, bro. Oh, we, he said we can ready, ready to get into it. Yeah. So, yo, tune in, tune in for the juiciness, you think? <laughs> WHGE 95.3 FM, the advocacy education station, the only black owned station in Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah, that's a D. 844 Hit us up, the open eye, WHGE. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Anti-blackness runs so deep that this society has said that mass shootings are working. We are so afraid of black people that we are willing to not deal with the massive gun violence by having sensible gun safety laws. Like they do in other places. And one year, and let me tell you something. These stats on your age, they're 10 years old, okay? But they're still relevant. Uh -huh. In one year, guns murdered 17 in Finland, 35 in Australia, 39 in England and Wales, 
60 in Spain, 194 in Germany, 200 in Canada, 9,484 in the United States. Oh, God bless them. And guess how many United States have killed Two. in other countries? And oh, yeah. Yeah. And their machine uh, guns. Yeah. I mean, when you do the math, the math is for real. When you go to Iraq, ask them how many people got killed. Yeah. The people where they, where they trying to take over and mm -hmm. do their strong arm in these other, you know. Yeah. It's, 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 it's just but built on. What we're just talking about, on. it's built on violence. Yeah, I mean, that's what the, yeah, the it's built on. It's built on. It's crazy. It is. It is. This is the. This is. It seems to be what's wanted in our society. Remember, I told you. Right. All right. They legalized. Uh. Uh. The Supreme Court declared that you don't need a permit for anything. To protect yourself. No. No. It's crazy. No. 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 Okay. You don't need a permit. To cut, carry a concealed weapon. Okay. Now, while that's going on, food prices are skyrocketing. Right now, food prices are up 20% from a year ago. Okay. Gas prices, of course, are up. Oh, all right. Now, what happens is with people unable to feed themselves and feed their families. They get desperate. And what they gonna do? They got a concealed weapon and they're gonna roll up on somebody that got because they ain't got. It. You think about this. You sitting home, okay, and your girl giving you pressure to get something to eat for these two children y'all got. All right, because your job cuts your hours. Now what you gonna do? I mean, if you can buy a gun, you can buy some food. Yeah. I mean, you gotta put your priorities in the right place. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I mean, how you gonna go? How you gonna have a gun mm -hmm. and, and and not have no food? food. I and, mean, and what did you first of all, of? if he can't afford no food, he definitely can't afford no gun. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So what they give it to him? I don't know nobody that give out guns except for like. Except the U.S. government, where they pull up in our black community, right? And then they'll open the trunk and leave the car by the side. Uh -huh. You know how the setups that they do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been here long enough. They can't yeah. pull a whammy on us because right. we know better, mm -hmm. and we're older than you know the right. average. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we right. are aware. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. a lot of people are not aware. A lot of people don't even know that they do these things to to our community. Yes. Right. And they are totally gullible and they are fight for mm -hmm. the United States of America because they won't do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They'll go all the way to the end to, mm -hmm. to, to death yep. believing that that, that don't right. happen. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Of it course. happens all the time. It happens all the time. I mean? it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Goes crazy. on right in our community. Yeah. And then they have people in our community that they financially support that make sure the guns get That's some good and then yeah. we go to call on them, the uh, protective service. No, yeah, the protective service, <laughs> and the, and and what they do. Uh, uh, Frank, you did a good job. Nah, I'm there. Hey, yeah. yo, you got any more of them? You know, that's that's yeah. it's so uh, mm -hmm. uh corrupt. Yeah, and, and let me prep this 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 segment okay. here, right? All uh, right, with this state. Okay, I absolutely agree with no Saroma. That you should protect yourself, especially in this current environment that we are living in. This environment of abject poverty and violence. Before a man killed at least four people at a hospital in Tulsa, there had already been 232 mass shootings. 232 mass shootings were at least. Four people were killed. That's just this year in the United States. According to the Gun Violence Archives, it is the 20th since last week's shooting at an elementary school in Uvalde. That's 19 children and two teachers. Mass shootings were four or more people, not including the shooter, are injured or killed, have averaged more than one per day so far this year. Actually, it's higher than that. 
we actually had more shootings than we've had days in this year. Okay, now here's the crazy. Because they don't want to do anything about the gun law, America's mass shooters are the best armed in the world. In Aurora, there was a mass shooting with the AR-15. Orlando, AR-15. Las Vegas, AR-15. Sandy Hook, AR-15. San Bernardino, where my cousin lives at, where I was stationed here, AR-15. Sutherland Springs, AR-15. You know what? Look. Here's the crazy. Just saw a post. It said, arm teachers and train them to fight. If they don't comply, they have no business teaching. Teachers are not your goddamn sacrificial lambs. So that they can keep, so that you can keep your AR-15. They are there to teach and educate, not storm Normandy. The hell's wrong with y'all? 233 mass shooters and counting. It's been more than that. See. This country was created through violence, built on violence, maintains itself on violence. They couldn't count on two hands how many years they have lived without violence. The problem is now everybody. And my thing is, you know, I'm a Gemini. I, I see like a full circle of stuff when I, when I try to dive diagnose or dissect this the situation. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. and what's crazy is America is the cult. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So and when you're dealing with America, America, first of all, there's no one that shed more blood than America. They they lynched, they burn, they kill, mm. they drag people behind cars. Anything possible you can think of, they made tears out of human skin. They mm. made, they they take your teeth out and give them to other people. Mm. I mean, this is the worst type of uh, corruption you can ever think about. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and the 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 people that's in position to do this corruption are tyrants. Yeah, they they are universal tyrants. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is they can go to other countries mm -hmm. and be a tyrant. Yeah. You know, yeah. so when you can go to other countries and then in your own home, mm -hmm. you know you're the worst tyrant ever in mm -hmm. your own home when mm -hmm. you when when you lose control, right. right? Right. So we as the people, how many uh criminals you think gonna go by that law that they put in code AR fifteen? How many criminals you think is gonna say, okay, they, they banned the AR-15, so I ain't gonna grab them? Mm -hmm. How many of them you think is gonna say that? No, no. Exactly. And so I'm gonna these, be, hold okay. up. Okay. Hold up. Okay. So these laws that they put in effect is not for those criminals, right? Mm -hmm. It's for the militia and the people that's gonna fight against these tyrants and the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. you never know when stuff hit the fan around here mm -hmm. in, in America. How easy war can come to America like it did in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And they then who's gonna send us some guns and who's gonna send some stuff here to, for us to protect ourselves mm -hmm. when the government takes all our stuff? That's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. It's it's deeper than just the 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 40 or 400 people that did these uh terrible, terrible you know, masters, mm -hmm. nice. it's 4 billion people in the world. Mm -hmm. So 400 to 4, that's 1% of the people. Mm -hmm. And they were criminals. They weren't people that, you know, respectively worked every day and took care of their kids and knew the responsibility. Mm -hmm. They were people that had issues. For one, they were sick and they was, you know, if, if you acting hateful to me because I'm black, 
you got a you got a problem. You got a deficiency, mm -hmm. and that deficiency messes with your brain. Mm -hmm. And that's what we dealing with. You okay. know what I'm saying? We dealing with sick people. Yes. And and the sick people gets a hold of these sometimes illegal guns, sometimes legal guns, mm -hmm. depending on how it is. Mm -hmm. They feel a certain way to go. Okay, I'm gonna go down the uh, Bancroft School Tuesday and give it to them. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it it's the it's the individual thinking that brings that about. Okay. You know, and that's that's what's sad to me because they always hollering and putting out in front what is not the problem. Okay. They they push the agenda to you know outlaw outlaw the the things Certain that weapons. that don't I mean that has nothing to do with the problem. Okay. Let me let me let me let me address that like this. First, okay. of, all, first of all, you said that. You know, it, it, what you're basically saying, if I'm correct here, is making more laws to outlaw guns is not the way to go. Criminals don't follow laws. Exactly. Okay. 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 So okay. Let, me, let, me, let me respond to that. Okay. Let me go. Criminals don't uh, follow laws. Okay. From that matrix, we should just let go of all laws. For instance, okay. There should be no traffic laws. We should be able to roll. Let no, me finish. Let me finish. There's a right and wrong, right? Okay. It's a yes, 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 we did. Right and wrong, yes, you right? did. Because if we're going to, you know, not use laws to govern our society, then what use are they? So let's throw all the laws out. Let's throw the speeding laws out. We can go up and down the road as fast as we want to. Never mind that. They do that wait a minute. Statistics show that those speeding laws greatly reduce. Traffic deaths. Okay. You got a speeding ticket? No. Okay. So well, wait a minute. I mean, yeah. nah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you got a speeding ticket. You mm -hmm. speeding, you was going five miles over. Mm -hmm. And that's not speeding, man. Okay. 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 Oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. This, but this is but the, if it was five miles the, over, the, it was speeding. No. How, okay. It, you, Here's the thing. No one's perfect. Okay. There's no not. way you're going to do 25 miles an hour on the dot. Mm -hmm. I've been driving 50 years. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you that's not happening. Don't get too caught up on what I, on the example that I need. No, I'm just saying it's all the same. It's okay. the same. There's no what I'm saying is without laws, we have anarchy. Right. Without laws, we have the criminal in control. Okay. No, okay. We don't have anarchy. If we, didn't, now, we got laws in position. We got laws in position now. now because people, people are adhering to. But think how much worse it would be if none of these laws were in. I was saying, like, remember back in the day, Western, when you, it was no law, you carried your own gun and you that, got rid that's of That's a myth. Huh? That's a myth. That's a myth. Yeah. No. Most Western towns, you had to check your gun when you came to town. What? Yeah. Look it up. Yes, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I can't see you. I don't know. I ain't saying that. I can't yeah. respond to that. They, they, they. But, but yeah. you know what? Let me, let me, yeah. Um, We pretty much hit that. But the thing is this, bro. Let me ask you this. What? What is the what is the solution to mass shootings? Okay. And I'm gonna ask this, I'm gonna say this before I do. How many children have to die before we decide to do something about mass shootings? I saw a Republican politician, okay, female, say that before she gives up her guns, she shoot her grandchildren. That's sick. That's sick. No, so what is the solution to stop the issue? I mean, that's like going. See, some of the stuff that they these politicians and stuff say, mm -hmm. it's it's like you can't even say it because it's unpredictable. You understand? Okay. When you're dealing with an unpredictable situation, mm -hmm. you, it only happens when it happens. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody know what's happening. Mm -hmm. It just uh randomly occurred. These things was randomly occurred. These massacres was randomly done. Okay. They wasn't every Friday you're going to go massacre okay. and it somewhere around the world so the police is looking for this. Okay. They're not doing that. Man. Okay. This is, let this, me, say, let this me is, say this right quick. Let me say this. This is unplanned. When events. situations happen that are unplanned, but we have experience in those situations, we should be able to know how to address them. You body being a prime example of those that already knew 
the situation and how these things go. Since Columbine, we should know, and this is tragic on our part, it's sad that we even have the experience right. to know how to deal with mass shooting. Well, the problem is, you see, how do we stop them? It's, this is something you can't stop. That's like, those situations is like, uh, no, it's something it's, we don't want to stop. It's, it's like, you oh. never, we never could predict the 9 11 thing happening. True. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's unpredictable things. Until it happened, mm -hmm. then you just come up with a design, and that still don't guarantee that that won't happen again. Right. Just because you put this stuff in effect, right. and the stuff that you put in effect mm -hmm. is to the law abiding people that is for and against all of that. Mm -hmm. But they're okay. the ones that suffer in the end. Right. Yeah, like okay, for instance, you said speeding. Okay. okay. Um, somebody been doing this on the air. What's up, brother? All right. What's going on, there, brother? All right. Hey, man. Hey, hey. I just want. I just want to speak in on how how we gonna stop mass shooting. Uh, you you really can't you really can't stop mass shooting, but you can put a limit. There should be red flags, and all type of stuff. Uh, you should never be able to just. Walk in there and or order some out of ordinary uh big boy AR-15, get a lot of ammo. That should be a red flag. Uh, if you ever say anything about, uh, uh, I'm going to shoot up, I'm going to kill these motherfuckers. If it, that, and somebody heard you at a school or anything like that, you should be red flagged. You should never be. It's like, it's so many pinpoints in there like that, that, that don't happen, which really boils down to where they be like, hey, we're going to come and take these, you know. Mm -hmm. Which is cool, okay. man, because no, we, we running short on time, so wrap up your comment. Right. We, we yeah, right. we understand, bro. So yo, call us next time. 844-944-3953 so you can get a better clear it clearer. You you coming through oh, on the other side on Facebook. on Facebook. So call us through directly to the radio station so the world can hear what you're saying also. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, bro. Up, bro. We're gonna link. All right. Thanks. All right. Good luck, brother. All right. And look, I gotta hit this because we are seriously running out of time. Uh -huh. Okay. And let me say this on uh on the gun thing. Uh -huh. A big part of the problem is they don't want to do anything. Remember, I told you the NRA is not interested in your right to bear arms. They're right. interested in your right to buy arms. Right. All right. Now I gotta. We gotta mention Sesame Street right quick. Uh -huh. We only got. We down to a few minutes now. All right. All right. Remember Sesame Street. Okay. When it was started, it was started to address the education of inner city children. Translation: Black children. Okay. Right. Sesame Place needs to be punished by withholding what our money. Don't go there and spend your money with some racist ass people Ooh. that are going to mistreat and make your children feel bad. The biggest thing that stood out to me in that video was the hurt look on that child's face right. when that person, that creep, wouldn't participate with them right. in a children's ideal of what's going on. But, and okay, now where's the laws for that? Yeah. And where's the laws for people that do that to kids that don't know no better? Right. That's, that, that think that they are the same, we are all equal, mm -hmm. and then they knock that down. Mm -hmm. Where is the law that protects them little kids that get that person locked up, that treat them like that? Right. Where are those type of laws at? Well, they, don't 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 laws like that that. That. they don't even look at that as a law no. to be in effect. No. And that's what I'm saying. Okay, that's let me tell I'm you something. We feel, let me, let me, let me we tell feel you the most. Uh, because what that is, is company policy, okay? Obviously, Sesame Place, okay? And don't confuse Sesame Place with Sesame Street. Sesame Place, even uh -huh. though they're involved, all right, obviously has a policy of discriminating against black children. If that is the case, right. how do you affect that policy? You affect that policy economically. F up the money. Always F up the money, okay? That will put them in check. If you don't think so, 
All you got to do is look back at our historical examples. Montgomery bus boycott, where our people had the unity and the effectiveness to affect the money. And that backed them white supremacists down. Because the only thing more important to a white supremacist than blood is money. They will, look, there is a saying about uh, uh, that, what is this, old Sicilian saying. But I'm applying it to these white supremacists. A white supremacist will give up one of their children before they give up their goddamn money. Ooh. Now that's just as worse as the girl shooting her kids for with the holding her guns. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, listen, man. Listen. It start with self. If you ain't on point with yourself and you ain't got the right mind frame to keep yourself together mm -hmm. in this vicious uh, time, mm -hmm. it it's going to be mayhem. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know that insurance dude. He, he, mayhem. They call him Mayhem. He, he, he on uh, the insurance commercial. Okay. And, and okay. He'll, he'll, he'll be riding along and just cause an accident for nothing. How about that? Yeah. Just bring Mayhem into your life. Mm -hmm. And that's the way America is. Mm -hmm. they, it, I don't see a uh, uh, a uh, finishing uh, solution mm -hmm. when, when we dealing with this hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. And you know, and until we can visually and uh, prepare a plan mm -hmm. to stop the, this hypocrisy, it's always something's always it's always always going to go something. It's always uh -huh. going to happen. Yes, indeed. You know. Yep. Well, the day instead of an actual rant, rant, have a a a a Roba, <laughs> uh, uh, a myth, if you will. Oh, okay. okay. All right. The donkey told the tiger, the grass is blue. Okay. <laughs> the tiger replied, no, the grass is green. Right. The discussion became heated, and the two decided to submit the argument to arbitration. Okay. So they approached the lion. As they approached the lion on his throne, the donkey started screaming, your highness, isn't it true that the grass is blue? The lion replied, if you believe it's true, the grass is blue. The donkey rushed forward and continued. The tiger disagrees with me, contradicts me, and annoys me. Please punish him. The king, the king then declared, the, the tiger will be punished with three days of silence. The donkey jumped with joy and went on his way, content, repeating, the grass is blue. The grass is blue. <laughs> the tiger asked the lion, your majesty, why have you punished me? After all, the grass is green. Right. The lion replied, you've known and seen that the grass is green. The tiger asked, so why do you punish me? The lion replied, that has nothing to do with the question of whether the grass is blue or green. The punishment is because it is degrading for brave, intelligent creatures like you to waste your time arguing with an ass. And on top of that, <laughs> you came and bothered me with that question just to validate something you already knew was true. Right. The biggest waste of time is arguing with a fool and a fanatic who doesn't care about truth and reality. Right. But only the victory of his beliefs and illusions never waste on discussions that make no sense. There are people who, for all the evidence presented to them, do not have the ability to understand. Others are blinded by ego, hatred, and resentment. And the only thing they want is to be right, even if they aren't. When emotions run high, intellect runs low. You ever play chess with a pigeon? They'll crap all over the board and then strut around like they want. That sounds like America. Mm -mm -mm. This is the open eye. W H G E 95.3 FM. I'm on the I'm no survivor. Thanks for joining us. And as we always tell you, destiny determines who enters your life, but you decide who stays. Therefore, value those who value you and don't treat those as a priority. Who treats you as a house. And shout out to the, uh, the um, Lambert family and the uh, Curly family. They have a death. Mm -hmm. So, blessing is blessing. Bless
blessings, peace and, and, and resilience to you. Both and I like have the HDE, 95.3 heaven. Yeah. 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 Yo, what's good? Hey, listen. Thanks, bro, for tuning in, popping in all us like that. We want, we need more of that. We need new people to communicate with us and bring out. You can, we can get it popping even more like that. So, yo, instead of hitting the Facebook, call us so you can be on the door and we can hear you clearly. Cause we can't really stop with the radio and come over to the phone and do it like that. We just giving y'all some play on the radio station. You dig? So, yo. Thank y'all for joining, and you know what it is. Vaughn, Sherry, Mike, you know, B5. All right, all right. Thanks for joining us, like my man said. We hope y'all had a good time and learned something. You know, this is a little more than entertainment. It's edutainment. You know, my goal is not so much to entertain as it is to educate, because I learned something before I get here. Big up. Thanks for watching. Thank you. No, so Roma streaming all platforms, you dig? <laughs>